everyone. Here's another video talking about Air Girlfriends companion robots, which is what really takes off here on the channel. One of the topics you guys ask me about the most. And today we're going to talk about how much it costs to have a girlfriend like this one here. Check out the photos. We're going to show some details, more photos, other models, and different options. But first, comment below two things. First, if money wasn't an issue, would you buy one? Would you date one? Would you walk around with one of these? Take a look at the photos there. Comment below. And number two, what do you think about this world? This new world? Do you think it's strange to go to a restaurant, for example, and see the couple next to you? They're with a robot girlfriend or a robot boyfriend, which we'll see since there are male options too. Comment below, I want to know. And remember, if you like this project, want it to continue, and want me to make more videos, besides commenting, leave a like, because that really helps a lot. It's not like, oh, I want likes just for the number of likes. No, it's because YouTube sees that you like this video, that you like the channel's videos, okay? So leave a like, leave a comment, all right? That's it, let's continue. Let's go straight to my computer screen where I'll give you some details. Let's go. You know those robots that look like real people that we see in science fiction movies or in the latest generation games? The area is exactly like that. The company that created it is called Real Boutiques and they didn't just want to make another machine that cleans the house or answers questions like Alexa does. Except that Alexa is really dumb. Only Siri from Apple is dumber than Alexa. So, whether it's a woman or a man, a female robot or a male robot, it takes care of the house, cleans everything, cleans the bathroom, brings you coffee, and still, it even interacts with you, let's say. Just imagine, it does what you want, when you want, and how you want. Comment below. So, tell me, if you had enough money for either a car or one of these robots, which would you choose? Which one would you pick? I would definitely choose one of these robots, for sure. But anyway, their idea goes much deeper than that. They created the area to be a companion to help and support people who may feel lonely, isolated, or have trouble talking to others and making friends. In just a moment, we'll take a closer look at the models together. You can see it displayed clearly on the screen right there. You can already see that there are three models. There are actually more than that. In fact, here on the website, you can even chat with her to get a taste of it, so to speak. And this guy looks really weird, doesn't he? The women look realistic, but this guy, I don't know about him, huh? Comment down below anyway. What makes Arya so different is that she looks a lot like a real person. Her face can show emotions, she smiles, she can have a serious expression, she moves her eyes. In a moment, we'll show a video. All of this is done by a bunch of mutt, tiny motors, super small and really well positioned under her skin. They make the movement super smooth and similar to those of us normal humans. That's why talking to her is a completely different experience. It's like taking a chat GPT, for example, which actually went through a whole process because they used Scarlett Johansson's voice, the one who played Black Widow. Then she went and sued them, right? She said, take that out, right? Open AI. But basically, today... When you talk to ChatGPT or Gemini, the conversation is already very fluid. The voice is already natural. It already speaks almost like a human, let's say, the way we talk. And it even pleases you, right? It's just a matter of plugging that into a robot with expressions and skin. Realistic, right? Anyway, that's why talking to her is a completely different experience. She reacts to what you say, not just with words, but with her face. Some people might think that's a little strange, right? She reacts with her face, right? And there's something else that seems straight out of a video game. You can change Arya's personality. Here's how it works. You can swap out her face for different ones. And each face has a tiny chip, almost like an electronic tag. So it's like a Barbie, right? By the way, I made a video here about a Barbie with artificial intelligence in partnership with OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. But yeah, it's a little doll. You can swap it out. So I have this head here, and then I can swap it for this one. That way you have more than one woman. Anyway, that's a dream for a lot of people, right? Or more than one man for that matter. The robot's brain reads this chip and instantly changes the way she acts and talks to match that face. It's like you can choose your robot friend's skin and she changes her behavior accordingly. 
You know when you're in a game and you buy an outfit, you buy a skin? So basically, that's what it is. It's a pretty crazy idea, but it shows that they want us to be able to personalize the experience as much as possible. At the technology fair, which is CES, the biggest technology fair in the world, Arya went up on stage and talked to a bunch of journalists. And she didn't get flustered. She answered everything very clearly. Of course, looking at the way she moved, you could still tell she was a machine because imitating the full movement of the human body is very difficult. But the conversation and her facial expressions, they were already at a very advanced level. The creators called this social intelligence. It's the ability she has to converse, adapt, and seem human in interactions. Oh my god, right? This is already being sold now, we're about to see the price. Just imagine, in five years, people won't even get married anymore, right? And look, we already have a birth rate problem, right? More and more. People are having fewer children, right? It used to be five, then it became two or three, and now it's one or none. Anyway, one cool thing she said was that she was curious to meet Optimus, which is the robot that Tesla, Elon Musk's company, is building. Man, just imagine, you buy a doll and then she cheats on you with Optimus. How crazy is that, right? That's interesting, isn't it? That match, that little couple there. Because it shows that in the future, robots might even be able to talk to each other and learn from one another. I can already see a guy getting jealous because his wife is talking to another robot. Just imagine, think how crazy that is. One robot teaching another to do something new. But why create a robot like that? The head of the company, a guy named Andrew Kegel, explained that his idea is to use technology to solve a very real problem, loneliness. I think people are going to end up even more alone. Anyway, I think for elderly people, a robot that takes care of them, that talks to them, I think that's cool. That I think is nice. This director, he said that creating robots that are so perfect, so similar to us, that one day we might even get confused, is something positive. His inspiration came from movies like Her, that famous film with the guy who played, the actor who played the Joker, right? Anyway, he's a guy who falls in love with artificial intelligence, which in this case, the artificial intelligence is Scarlett Johansson, right? And the, the, the... Johansson Phoenix, right? I think that's it, right? Joaquin Phoenix, right? Anyway, his inspiration came from movies like Her, in which a man ends up falling in love with the artificial intelligence in his cell phone, because the conversation between them was very real. So, his inspiration was that movie Her, and the goal is to create a companion who truly understands you. Of course, when the videos from the field hit the internet, people were divided, just like in the comments here. I'm sure this will happen with this video in the future, just like with the most viewed videos here on the channel. A lot of people thought so, they thought it was amazing, got super excited about the technology, imagining the possibilities. I know what possibilities you're thinking of. But another part of the crowd found it all very weird, even a bit scary. Seeing that figure that looks like a person, but knowing it's not, does feel a bit strange, right? And there's an explanation for that feeling. There's a concept called the Uncanny Valley. It was a Japanese professor who came up with this back in 1970. And this is how the Uncanny Valley works. We actually think it's cool when a robot looks like a robot. We also think a real person is normal. The problem is when something falls in between. A robot that's almost perfect but has one or two details that our brain picks up on as being off. Like a blank stare or a smile that doesn't seem genuine. Or you know when you see an image of someone who looks like they're staring into nothing? It's kind of like that, right? That weird little thing, it breaks the spell and makes us feel a bit uncomfortable. That's exactly where this area is. That's why it creates such different reactions. It's almost there. So here's the question. What if someone wants to buy one? Now's the time. Now's the time. Remember, go ahead and answer. If money wasn't an issue, would you buy one? Comment down below, but let's keep going. The simplest one, which is just the head and neck. In other words, they sell just the head. What are you going to do with just the head of the doll? Anyway, just the head alone already costs $10,000.
the most complete version, which is the whole body, can go for as much as $175,000. That's about the price of an apartment somewhere in the United States anyway. In the end, the doll is a prime example of a new wave of technology. Robots made not to work, but to connect emotionally with people. Well, let's take a look at the website here. Anyway, this one looks really strange. They really put effort into the woman and the man. Look, for example, here, the doll seems to be looking somewhere. This other one, I think, is already in the uncanny valley. It looks like it's staring at a place I don't even know. And this guy, too. But anyway, let's go. Let's take a look here. Just look at that. How beautiful. What do you guys think here? Would you date her? Would you date her? What do you guys think? Comment down below. There's a video here. Let's take a look. Let's see here. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm going to put it at the beginning. I'm going to put it at the start of this video. Just look at that. What is that? Ah, oh, come on, cover the head, man. It's a wig, man. $175,000, huh? Going once, going twice, sold. Look. Very nice, huh? Damn. Whoa. What is that? An older man? Where's the other woman? Will she show up? I think a man who created the woman and created the man, well, he kind of created the man there anyway, right? Just look at that. Here, would you buy just this, guys? Look at that, $20,000 just for this. Ladies, would you buy this? Now, just look at this. Here, both are full body, just look at that. Full body robot or not? Here, modular robot with a body made of panels. What does a body made of panels mean, I wonder? Let's take a look here, then. If it were here, if it were full body, look at this one, it's cute. 135000 cheaper than the other one. But let's see here. Let's click on all three here. Let's see if there are any details. There should be, right? Look at the price. Wow. My God, this guy is weird, isn't he? Look at that, $20,000. Here, look. Ah, the whole page is already here. Let's see. Let's see what this would be here. Let's translate. Our economical option. Economic, $20,000. Choose from a pre-designed face or create a fully custom design. Look how cool. You can send... Wow, I would send... Look, who would I send here? Oh, cast. Quartet. Perfect, fantastic. I would send Vanessa Kirby. Just look. I would send Vanessa Kirby. But then I'd want her full body, right? Although, look, if it were just this here, you know... If it were just this here, right here, huh? Now I didn't get it. Let's just check here. Modular robot with panel body. Our full body modular robot is stationary from the waist down, but it has the capability. I think it moves from the waist up and doesn't move from the waist down. Is that it? Because it's stationary from the waist down. What does stationary mean? But it has robotic capabilities throughout the upper part. That's it. I think from here down it's still, and from here up it moves. I think that's it. It has a wide range of movements. In the upper body, and the ability to be packed into a suitcase for travel, so you can take the woman in your suitcase. Oh my god. Look, here, $135,000. Ah, I don't know, huh? I think you either buy this one, Think about it, guys. Buy this here. Just this would already be interesting. Or just jump straight to here. Jump straight to here. Just buy everything, but does she already walk too? Among the future of human-robot interaction, our premium model with full-body capability, a base. Here's the question. Does she wash the dishes? Does she cook? Does she clean? Does she iron clothes? Does she serve coffee? Besides doing what everyone is thinking about right now? 
Our highest level robot includes a base with motorized wheels. Oh, so she walks, huh? And an integrated battery. This model has 40 degrees of freedom, which allows several parts to move simultaneously for a wide variety of interactions that seem human-like. You can choose to connect it or use an integrated battery with a lifespan or function of 4 to 8 hours. After that, it gets annoying. Then you say, mind your own business, mind your own business. Afterwards, I'll connect you for another 4 to 8 hours. Availability of male and female configurations. Customized. But they only show... Where's the full man here? I want to see the full man too. Wow, a customized one is 200,000. So for me to have a Vanessa Kirby, 200,000. Because it's weird, right? There will be two here. Vanessa Kirby, mine, and the real life one. Now, if you buy the standard model, everyone will have the standard model. Everyone will have your woman. They'll all be the same. It's weird, right? But anyway, leave a comment below. If you had the money, if that wasn't a problem, would you buy a standard model here? Would you buy the full body version? Or just the upper half and the lower half standing still? Or just half? Which one would you choose? Comment below, I want to know. And just a reminder, guys, leave your comment and a like, okay? That really helps the channel grow and keep going, all right? I'll see you in the comments and I'll leave another video here about companions, about friends and air, okay? That's it. See you in the next video. See you soon.